Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, Abstract Artist, and thank you for joining me again. If you're new here, I create abstract paintings, and I talk a little bit about some processes, and then I walk you through, on many of them, how I created them from a blank canvas to a created piece of art. This piece is a 12 by 24 canvas, and I started on a blank canvas, and the Acrylics that I used on here are the Golden High Flow and the um, Fluids. And I used some water and I used some graphite uh, and pencil in, in this piece. But I used water and different brushes to maneuver the paint around the canvas. More of a, f a fluid painting as opposed to paints that are thicker used with a brush. So I hope you enjoy the process and uh, let me know if you have any questions, I'll certainly answer them for you. I already started this canvas with some graphite and pencil and I uh, just wanted to get it activated and then the paints I'm using are the golden high flow and the fluids that's a high flow there it's ultramarine and I start with the ultramarine blue and I always use titanium white and I always use the black and then I add in, in the end, some green gold and then some of the, uh, the deep turquoise. And of course, my nozzles always get um, stuck because I will use my paints. But I balance back and forth between adding the paints with the brush, adding water to the canvas to make this a more fluid, as I said in my introduction, this is a more fluid painting to allow the paint to move freely. So you'll see how some of the paint goes on with the brush a little thicker and then some it's going to bleed as the paint hits the canvas. Then I add puddles. I will um, pull up some puddles. I'll let some of the puddles soak into the canvas. I do not pre-gesso my canvases. They come gessoed already from the art store. I do not add many times an additional layer of gesso because I like how paint uh, bleeds into the fibers and I like to see that. Here you'll see I have the titanium white is definitely a, a high flow and I've added white. Now, it covers up some of the uh, graphite lines, some of the graphite lines I'm using to kind of just guide me just for fun, but I'm just moving the brush around and you can tell the areas where there's more water and there's less water on the canvas. So at this point, I'm using the paint directly out of the uh, ultramarine jar because I love that color. I love the just the pureness of it. So you'll see me um, now um, decide I'm going to add some different, that's the quinacridone gold and that is just a regular um, high, uh, fluid um, acrylic, not the high flow. And I like how it has like a nice little balance between the two paints and it's directly out of the bottle. As the paints start to touch each other, you will see some of them blend. So uh, some of that will blend with the titanium white and uh, lighten it and give it almost like a tan color. And then you'll see some of the blues kind of blending in. When it's very watery, the paints will blend with each other. And I like that. So I'm just looking through, I'm not really worrying about composition, but I'm kind of just looking through to see where do I want my eye to go? Do I want the eye to flow in different places with this, um, uh, it's a quinacridone gold um, 
we'll call it tan brownish color do I want it to flow different places and as the paint is introduced with some water on my canvas it does um, become less saturated of a color so I'm looking around and again I'm just saying okay what do I um, what do I want to do um, that stroke got a little muddy so I'm blotting it off and it's okay I love the muddy color that that adds a beauty in itself but I'm adding in some more of the blue that um, is more watered down just to kind of flow the eye through the painting on the um, um, canvas. I love squirting in the high flow uh, white. It just, um, I do that in, in a lot of my paintings. I will splatter it in, sprinkle it in, um, put it in with water. Um, you can see in the top there, there was some splatter from when I sprayed and I'm just letting that color uh, be used to bring in a lighter blue. So I'm bringing in, that is my woody black. It's a crayon and just drawing through. A lot of this gets hidden um, underneath, but um, some of it doesn't, but it just kind of adds interest. Many times I will take this crayon and um, even after I finish and turn the cameras off or I finish my painting, I'll walk by and I'll grab a woody or a pencil and add more marks. So uh, even when, after I sign the painting, I think it's done. I love using my woody and I love making marks with it. I'm just looking through the composition right now and asking myself what does it want. Now I grabbed the black and I grabbed a fan brush. I love putting black in my art and this is a um, fluid golden black. There was a lot of water up there on the top part or as you're looking at it, the right hand side of the canvas and that's why the blooms are spreading and so you can go with that you can um, you know mark it out um, make it part of your design um, just kind of go with it so I'm using the fan brush again just to move the paint around while it's extremely fluid there I'm adding again some of the high flow titanium white and of course that's going to give me some variation of gray which i love and it's going to puddle and bloom and some of that i will dab some of it i will leave there's some more of the quinacridone gold that i'm just adding in and as it's blending with the other colors it's going to change so it's grabbing and sometimes when it touches the black, it will get a little bit of like a, a green tint to it. So I'm pushing that fan brush around, kind of just give that corner a little bit of an interest. And the paint is just blooming out. I'm dipping my brush and uh, that is the uh, the dark, the deep turquoise. And I love uh, circles, I love spheres, and I love squares. So I'm just adding some circles into this painting. At this point, you know, I could have stopped um, with this painting, actually, if I so wanted to. But I wanted just to play with it a little bit more. But at any point from here to the finish, you can decide to stop or you can decide to keep going making marks. Um, I took it further. So there's the woody. I'm marking through the, um, the wet paint. And now I'm using my fingers. 
and just smearing the paint in, kind of giving it a different texture. This painting will not have as much texture as many of my paintings. A lot of my paintings will have five, six, seven, ten layers of them. This has basically one flat layer with some layers on top, but not a lot of layers and everything is thin. There's not a lot of the thicker paints in this one. Again, I could have let this dry at this point and it would have been a beauty, beautifully finished painting at this point, but I keep going. So I, I grab a thinner brush and I'm just looking for spots where maybe I want to change up the texture a little bit. I want to bring in a different element. So uh, taking the paintbrush and rubbing it through that spot right there, grade some of the color there on the corner, which I really liked. And you can see the blooming of that white. Now, when I put the ultramarine blue down from the bottle, it is a thicker blue. So I liked that. So I left some of that thicker blue without um, changing it. And um, you'll see me a couple times add that blue straight from the bottle, the ultramarine blue, without uh, diluting it. So I'm taking the woody, since I love spirals and circles, I'm taking the woody and just um, drawing some circles in there, which I really like. So at this point, there was a puddling right there in the middle of the painting, and um, I didn't want the puddle, so I took a dab a paper towel and just dabbed it and now I'm uh, maneuvering some of that blue paint into um, the middle of the painting. So I'm bringing in some more of the white to... I like the white color, I just didn't like the puddle I guess when I was making this particular painting. I'm splattering a little bit there. Sometimes I'll make marks that I like, sometimes I'll make marks that don't interest me, like that right there. When I did those, I thought, you know, I don't like those, but it made it fun because it broke up the line that I had on the side with, you know, some added texture. I'm looking to see what else um, I might want to add to that middle part of the painting. I love putting my fingers in the paint. I think my fingers add um, a certain type of a texture that you can't get with a brush. So today I'm bringing my brush straight in the black and I'm uh, utilizing the puddle part on the painting. So that's a very wet section, and, I, and I'm and i liking that. I like how the paint just um, blended in with the, the water that's already there. And that corner down there is not as watery, so the paint goes on a little bit thicker. So I'm going back to that circle I did with the woody and just adding a little thicker circle through with the paintbrush. Is spirals and circles you'll see in um, just about every artwork that I do. It's on a piece of paper to the side of me. If I ever get stuck, it's one of those marks that I will always add. So I'm looking through here again, trying to decide what else do I want at any time. I could stop and... Um, I would have liked the painting at that point, but um, I'm having fun while I'm creating and I think that's the important part. That's the turquoise and that's a little bit more 
a watered down turquoise that I'm adding up to the top of the painting. So there's an awful lot of blues in here. And then you'll see me later on. I think my camera may stop um, when I add the, it's like a green gold. Um, but I do go in and take, a, I like using a green gold uh, with golden and um, a little bit of white to almost make a lime green. And I like adding that a lot of times with this ultramarine blue. So I'm just dabbling, playing. When you think about composition, you can see where the um, gold, the eye can flow through the painting. And also with the blue, you'll see where the different blues are. And it's just something I've, I've trained myself to do where it will automatically flow through the painting. And the same with the black. Um, I try to have the colors so it just flows through the painting, doesn't look too heavy in one spot, um, with a little bit of interest in the other spots. Not all my uh, painting areas are the same size. I have down at the bottom, you'll see that that section, they're more elongated spaces which makes it because I am putting a lot of circles in there which help make the circles balance off um, because if it was all, all circles it may look uh, boring but having some of that elongated section there and I'm just elongating that again because I broke that up a little bit having the elongated sections there um, is a different size different shape, different size, and it makes it more interesting for the eye. I'm adding some of that uh, gold right from the bottle to a couple spots. So my camera um, shut off, but all I really did was add some of that green gold with the titanium white, just again to some sections that help your eye flow through. So I hope you enjoyed this painting. It's something really any level can do. And I hope you give me a thumbs up and let me know what you want me to create. Um, I'm an abstract painter, so the paintings will be abstract. Um, but I like to do abstract landscapes and all sorts of abstracts. So let me know um, what you think of this painting and um, what you'd like to see because I want to create things that will help you grow in your journey and things that you like. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me.